The yarn arrived today for me to make Ziggy's brioche pup sweater and I'm really excited about it. This was not my first choice in terms of the teal yarn. Um, there was another one that had like purples in it, but you know, I guess this one makes more sense. I'll deal with it. But I ordered the yarn from Eat Sleep Knit. It's Teal Torch Knits and it is gore. Jess. This is the Teal Torch Knits DK Weight 7525 um, Superwash Merino Wool and Nylon. This is Tall Drink of Water is the beautiful teal blue. And this is Unlikely Flat Meat. And I think they look really good together. I do love this color combination just in general. It they arrived today so we are going out to dinner with some friends of mine tonight and i think when we get home assuming i don't pass out after a long friday at work i might wind this up so i can get started on it this weekend because you know we want ziggy to have the highest quality hand knit sweater that we possibly could find him the pattern says that if you want an additional pop of color, you can go ahead and do that for the I-cord cast on as well as the I-cord bind off on the sleeves and the German short rows area at the end that essentially covers your dog's little tushy. So I went ahead and did that. I found um, some dark blue fingering weight yarns that I had from Dragon Horde Yarn and I held them double so that they were more of a DK weight and it worked out really really well. I have been knitting on Ziggy's brioche pup sweater now on and off all day. We've been working on taking Christmas down and we were up super early so I also took a nap all that good stuff but Here's where I am. The pattern is turning out to be pretty easy so far. I've made it to some of the leg increases. So I believe, you know, this is the part that's going to increase and wrap around to be around his leg. Um, like you saw, I chose to go with a dark blue color around his collar. And yeah, really, really loving it. All right, so the day is not over yet, but I am calling it on the sweater for the day because I want to work on my Pancake and Lulu Advent Blanket. But for now, this is where I got, I have, I think, three more repeats of the increases, which you can see here. So this is, this will be Ziggy's back. And then there are these increases for the quote unquote sleeves. I suppose you'd call them. And then after that, you knit on the body for a bit before um, creating a um, cast off design sort of situation on the bottom. So this is what everything looks like so far. As you can see, it's fairly standard, just brioche knitting except for these increases. So, oh, and here's the man himself, Ziggy. You like your sweater? Yeah? What do you think? Okay. So, perfect opportunity actually. So this is where it will be. I think we are on the right track. I don't think we'll have to knit very long for his body because he is a short little guy. So I think we're gonna get to the end of the increases and not have to knit very far down. Um, but we'll see, because if I put it where his bandana is, it come, kind of comes down to here. I want it to go to maybe about here. He has glitter on him from the Christmas tree. That's amazing. Um, but yeah, I really like it. Um, and I might make a coordinating one of these. We'll see how it turns out. I might make a coordinating one of these in um, inverse colors for Fritzy, my senior schnoodle. Um, I don't think I'll have enough yarn left over from these. So I'll have to buy another one. And then 
If we like it enough, maybe I'll do one for our mini Aussie, which will be a little bit bigger, but I don't know. I, oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. Yeah? You're just letting everyone know how much you really like your sweater. Is it comfy? Well, anyway, the whole point of this video is to say I'm calling it quits on the sweater for the night and somehow I'm going to have to get Ziggy off the blanket I'm working on so I can make some progress there. Um, wish me luck. This is the part where things get really exciting when it comes to sweaters. Um, when you split for the sleeves and it actually starts to look like something. <laughs> um, I'm really excited about it. So I did have to rip back about, I don't know, two and a half, three inches because it was just getting way too big for our little guy. So even though he has kind of a robust chest, he um, is very small in other parts um, and he's not like super long either. So like, for example, his chest is really short. And so if I would have done the two inches to get to what the pattern called for before splitting up for the sleeves, then I worry that he would have looked like a, a kid wearing an adult size suit or something like that. So I did rip back and kind of working on my own stitch count now, which is kind of interesting, but that's fine, whatever. But this is going to be the back. And then the sleeves come down on this side. And then I think I have maybe another inch or two of the body. We'll see what it looks like before I do the shaping with this blue color again at the bottom for the edging. And this is his underbelly. I should probably mention that my progress keeper is another narwhal. I have several from Charmed and Dangerous. I needed a generic winter narwhal for reasons. And it's really cute. Um, you can see that it even has, it doesn't pick up in the pictures very well, but it has sparkles on the little horn, which I had no idea. So the detailing's really cute. But anyway, yeah. So this is where we are. It is so squishy. Every now and then, um, because Ziggy sits next to me while I'm knitting this, I will hold it up to him just to see if, you know, things look like they're going okay. Um, and that's causing me to deviate from the pattern a little bit. So I'm not sure what that means for us, but we're going to find out. But like, holy crap, it is so cute. I'm so happy with it. And with any luck, I will be able to wrap it up today. Ziggy, you want to talk about how much you like your sweater and how good it fits? So this is as far as I got today. You can see I'm basically almost done. So this is the back. It fits like this. We already put it on him and it fits so perfectly. Um, but yes, this is the back of it. This is where it comes down. These are going to be his little armholes. And then these are the short rows and I cord bind off at the bottom. And it is wonderful. It is so squishy. It feels so nice. So my dog is getting the most luxurious dog sweater probably ever known to man. And this is the tummy area. So I already wove in all of the ends, as you can see. And as you, as you can also see in the tummy area with the short row, the, the German short rows anyway, that this area leaves his tummy exposed so he can go to the bathroom easily. And then this still covers his back and it keeps him warm for the winter. And this is Trixie throwing a tantrum because she wants a hand knit sweater. Oh, now she's going to show us her butt. She's really mad. Um, so yeah, now the sleeves have an option to pick up the stitches and continue the brioche pattern for a few rows before you do another I-cord bind off in this contrast color. But when I tried it on Ziggy, I think we're okay with just this because his um, arms they get real tiny, real quick. So I would have to do like some super rapid decreases that I just don't feel like doing 
and I also just don't feel like they're necessary. So I think what I'm gonna do is there is an option to do an immediate bind off using an I-cord bind off in the contrast color. And I'm going to do that here and call it a day. So basically his entire leg is going to be exposed, which is fine. If you saw it on him, you would see that it's perfectly okay. But I really just think this sweater is adorable. Um, and I should at this rate be able to finish it up tomorrow and then he can wear it for all of the cold weather and snow that we've started to get. As you can see, we've been putting our dogs in sweaters, ignore the mess in the back. We've been taking Christmas down all day and putting winter decorations up so all of the boxes are out. But yeah, we have all of our dogs in their winter sweaters right now so they can go outside. And now Ziki will have his hand knit version and I'm really happy with it. So yeah, we'll see what happens when I do the bind off on the sleeves and we'll get a final vote from Ziggy on his opinion. But he's tired right now, so he's kind of done for the day. I know that feel. And here it is. We are done. Ziggy looks amazing, of course. Here you can see the I-cord bind off that I just finished. And I think now you can see what I mean. Like if I knit the sleeves, it would have to be a rapid decrease because he has such tiny little arms. There was a gap here underneath the sleeve. So I just used some scrap yarn to sew it shut and make it a little bit more sturdy. But yeah, I think he looks amazing. I don't think he likes it though, but that's fine. As long as he looks cute, right? All in all, I give this pattern five out of five hanks of yarn. It is super squishy. I think Ziggy likes it, I'm not really sure. And I don't know, I think I might be a little addicted to knitting dog sweaters now. So definitely check out the Brioche Pup Sweater by Stephen West.